Hello, my name is Sophia and welcome back to The Mind Palace. Now I know you're probably looking at the title of this video and thinking, you know, Sophia, you're about two weeks late, okay, like the ship has sailed, New Year's is over, I already broke my resolution. Okay, we're let's just do this next year. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even really going to make a New Year's resolution video because I myself don't really practice New Year's resolution. And here's why. I feel like I'm in a constant state of self-reflection and redirection. You know, I'm always looking back on what happened and what didn't work and how I can do things better. So for me, it's, it's an everyday thing. It's not something that I'm gonna do just once a year. But that being said, one day when I was coming home from work, I got into my Uber and I saw that this guy had decorations top to bottom, all New Year's themed. We had red solo cups, we had lights, glitter, all the works. But what intrigued me the most was on the back of the seat in front of me, I saw the words, question of the month. What is your New Year's intention? And I thought that's really interesting. You know, that wording really resonates with me a lot more than a New Year's resolution. You know, immediately I grabbed the little cue card, I took a marker out and I wrote down my New Year's intention and put it in the box. And from that moment, I knew that I wanted to make this video. So Jeffrey from Uber, if you're watching this, thank you for the inspiration. Jim Carrey once said, our intentions are everything. Nothing happens on this planet without them. But what is an intention? And why are they so much more effective than resolutions? The American Heritage Dictionary defines intention as an aim that guides action. In other words, your intention is your direction. And when you make a New Year's resolution, it implies that there's something to be resolved. It's all about looking back on the past year and identifying what problems need fixing. And then, you know, there's this all pressure to not break your resolution and if you break it, then you gotta start all over and it was all worth nothing. This approach is entirely fear-based. It forces you to focus on fixing problems rather than finding solutions. On the other hand, setting intentions encourages you to ask yourself, what do I want to achieve this year? You know, what can I do better this year? What solutions do I want to find? Dr. Joe Dispenza simply defines setting intentions as getting clear on what you want. You know, not on what you don't want and not on what didn't go right for you in the last year. This simple switch from fear to faith-based thinking, from negative to positive wording, can make all the difference. For example, you could say, my New Year's resolution is to stop eating junk food. Or you could say, my New Year's intention is to eat healthy at least three times a week. Another example is to say, my New Year's resolution is to stop dating immature guys. Or you could switch that and say that your New Year's intention is to be in a happy and healthy relationship. The key here is where you're placing your focus. That is what you are going to manifest. When you don't set intentions, or in other words, when you have no focus, no direction, you're free to place your focus on just about everything. And anything that comes your way is gonna get a little piece of your attention. It's like if you have an entire closet full of clothes, but you have to wear them all at once. Now at the same time, if you're making resolutions, if you're focusing on exactly what you don't want. You're gonna end up at the pool party in a snowsuit because you didn't wanna get wet. <laughs> this is all my fancy way of saying that when you don't set intentions, you can't be intentional. You, know, you can't be selective about what you do or don't give your attention to. So you essentially go through life distracted, falling back into old subconscious patterns and letting the outside circumstances guide you instead of the other way around. When you set intentions, you get the whole outfit. Instead of giving a little bit of energy to everything, you give a lot of energy to one thing. You know, you narrow your focus so you can make more conscious decisions about what you think, say, and do. In 2017, best-selling author and lecturer Lynn McTaggart decided that she would test the power of intention. She conducted the Peace Intention Experiment which was a week-long experiment that was available for anyone in the world to participate in. All you had to do was be available at certain times throughout the week to meditate and focus solely on the intention of creating peace. The goal of the meditation was to lower the violent crime rate by at least 10% in what was deemed the most dangerous street in America by the Wall Street Journal, Natural Bridge Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri. In the six months following the experiment, the violent crime rate had dropped far more than 
it reached 43%. What had been 44 violent crimes in the year before was only 25 violent crimes in the six months following the experiment. Do you know what this means? Your intentions can literally impact the world. In times like this, where it seems like there's a new global crisis every day, this information is extremely valuable. You can make a difference, and you can do it from where you are right now. Anthropologist Carlos Castaneda once said, In the universe, there is a powerful, immeasurable, indescribable force that the shamans call intent. And absolutely everything that exists in the entire cosmos is attached to intent through a connecting link. Your intentions are powerful. Your thoughts and your focus are powerful. When you set a new intention, you literally send a signal to the universe that says, I'm ready to do things differently. And in return, the universe sends you different things. The headlines we have been seeing over the past few weeks have been absolutely horrifying and really have a way of making us feel small, you know, and helpless and afraid. This is a reminder that your mind can make a difference, that you can help the world simply by focusing on the intention of peace, by focusing on love, you know, by choosing to ignore fear, choosing to turn the news off, you know, and focus on faith in the best possible outcome. We are all divinely connected. And when you set an intention, you create a wave in the ocean that we are all a part of. Thank you so much for watching and Happy New Year. For more videos like this one, follow at themindpalace.ca on Instagram, like at themindpalace.ca on Facebook, and subscribe to the Mind Palace channel on YouTube.